Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will demonstrate the auto strain functionality when using the Ares G2. Auto strain can be used when a material goes through a transition or reaction that drastically changes its physical properties, like that observed through a glass transition, cure, or thermoset. The auto strain function works by automatically adjusting the strain amplitude during an oscillation experiment in order to maintain the measured torque within a given torque window. In more simple terms, Auto strain is used to improve data quality throughout a single experiment since optimal measurement conditions for a soft material are not the same as for a rigid solid. To demonstrate, a thermoset material has been selected that has a thick molasses-like consistency at ambient conditions, but when heated is cured into a moderately stiff solid. As temperature changes or during a cure process, sample volume tends to change and axial force control is required to maintain geometry contact throughout the measurement. Axial force control has been discussed previously, so we will focus here on the auto strain functionality, but remember that both functions are typically used concurrently. Auto strain is located in the conditioning options segment just below the axial force control. Activate auto strain. The strain and torque settings are more accurately determined for each material by first running a scouting oscillation temperature ramp at constant frequency and strain. So for this thermoset example, a temperature ramp was performed at constant strain of 1% with a frequency of 10 radians per second. From this data, the initial set strain and also the maximum strain was selected to be 1%. The initial ambient torque measured was well within the instrument specifications. The minimum strain was then selected to be well within the linear viscoelastic region of the cured material. The minimum torque is arbitrary in this case since we are already starting at the set maximum strain. The maximum torque, on the other hand, was selected based on the value near the cure onset. This is to ensure that auto strain will take control at that point in order to reduce the strain while the material begins to cure, preventing shear damage to the developing sample network. The strain will continue to reduce at the rate specified from the strain adjust percentage to the set minimum value of 0.01% in an attempt to maintain the maximum set torque as shown. The temperature ramp data collected with constant 1% strain looks very nice and there are no obvious issues. However, upon performing a strain sweep on the cured material, it was found that 1% strain was slightly beyond the linear viscoelastic region. Thus, using auto strain to reduce the strain as the material cured was important in the development of the material network as an increased final modulus was observed in comparison. In this TA Tech Tip, we've demonstrated the auto strain functionality using the Ares G2. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.